Hi, with each new video I learn something new. That's especially true since my last video in which I thought I was testing HDMI EARC connection, but as it turns out I was actually testing just the ordinary ARC. So in my previous video I used LG 2019 TV and Denon's X1600H AV receiver to see which audio formats would pass from the TV to the receiver via HDMI ARC connection. During this test I was able to get Dolby Atmos within Dolby Digital Plus from Netflix, Prime Video and even from TV's media player. However, what I learned from your comments is that to get this I don't need enhanced audio return channel. Ordinary ARC would do the job. The reason for this is that streaming services in order to save on bandwidth are sending out Dolby Atmos within lossy Dolby Digital Plus which is something ARC can handle. This table from Dolby's developer website clearly shows this, but as I have the equipment, I thought to verify it. So I hooked up my Denon AVR-X1300W AV receiver, which only supports ARC, and guess what? I got exactly the same results as before. I got Dolby Atmos within Dolby Digital Plus on all three sources I tested. What is interesting is that in this configuration I was getting Dolby Atmos in Netflix without the need to use the trick from my previous video, by switching from internal to external speaker during the playback. Ok, now that we have this clarified, it's time to test EARC. TV's media player doesn't support lossless audio formats such as Dolby TrueHD or DTS HD Master Audio, so I did the test in the following way. I connected Panasonic's Ultra HD Blu-ray player DP-UB450 to the TV on HDMI 1 and kept HDMI cable connected between the TV and Denon X1600H. I adjusted sound output to bitstream on the player and turned on EARC on the TV. To test Dolby Atmos I tried Mad Max Fury Road and for DTS-X I used A Beautiful Planet, both on UHD Blu-ray. Result? EARC was working. I got Dolby Atmos within lossless Dolby True HD and DTS X within lossless DTS HD Master Audio without any issues. Though you can get this without the need for EARC in the first place by connecting the player directly to the receiver, still it is nice to confirm EARC connection working perfectly in this scenario. And that's all I wanted to share with you in this video. Thanks again for all your helpful comments. And let me know if you would like that I make more videos like this in the future with different TVs and receivers. Once again, thanks to LG representative office in Croatia and to company Ronis for giving me enough time to play with these exciting new products. See you in my next video!